Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the contains property in NetSuite and also how to use the union command that we use in SQL. Now how to utilize that command in uh, Suite Analytics. Now let me show you with example. See here, consider this example, select name from table one, union select name from table two. This is how we use in our MySQL, right? Now, since in the uh, NetSuite, all the tables are internally connected, now how to use them? This is an example, select name from table one, where name equal to X, or select name from table two, where name equal to Y. I will show you with an example how to use this. Then take this example, select name from table name where name like this, but there is no such facility of using this uh, percentage sign or the M percent sign. So we are using like this select name from table where name contains S. Now I will show you both these examples. Now see here. First of all, let me make a duplicate of this and I will remove everything. Yes. Now see, this is a sales order. Now with this sales order, the customer record is also associated, right? Now I will take name and item from this sales order record. And I will take another customer from this customer name. So in this way, we will get one customer from sales order with union, the customer name from customer record also. Let me show you how it is done. First of all, this is the sales order. Now customer name I have taken here, like just take an example. I will apply this and take an item here I will take Apple iPad. Now there are total eight records with this customer and item iPad, but the customer name is coming from sales order record, right? Now I will take another customer the name will be fetched from customer. Let me show you how. First of all, I will add a new group criteria. I will add both of these in inside this criteria. Now I will take another add new group criteria. Okay. No, not here. I will take here. Now I will click on customer record from here. Customer record. I will take a company name. Company name. Company name contains ABC. The company name is ABC enterprise, but I will just type enterprise ENT ERP, right? and I will apply. Now this name comes from customer record. Also, now I will take the item from sales order where item is Apple iPad. Now you will see here in just a second. There are total 47 records, but here or condition is written. Now what I will do here and the company is PBI group and Apple iPad. Here I will put or 
and now i will put here end now total 16 records will be received like this now why i have done this let me show you with a separate example if you see here if i take here only this customer and apple ipad that is total eight records and if i duplicate this also and then if i take abc enterprise with apple ipad you will see there are 10 records eight records customer is abc enterprise and item will be because item we will receive from sales order only not in customer so apple here you will see eight records right so tbi group with apple ipad eight records abc enterprise with apple ipad eight records total 16 records but here what i have taken consider this example let me show you once again this table one contains this and customer table contains this now when we take union that means whatever the name coming from here you will get a complete union this johnson will come here similarly what i am going to do here i have taken apple ipad item it will be received from sales order customer i have taken from tba group that is the sales order form after that i have taken customer this is written here customer that means this is the customer record now the company name is coming from another table that is the customer record company name contains abc ent erp that means abc enterprise and item this is taken from sales order because here customer colon it shows that it comes from customer record and item before that there is nothing written so it comes from sales order record and means both the condition will fulfill from sales order or here also again and company name from customer and item name from here so in this way when we want to fetch the table from different different table using uh, and and or condition because we are having only two conditions that are to be used so in this way we have to prepare our query now total there are 16 records that we fetched here so this is how we use the union command once again let's have a quick recap table 1 union select name from table 2 it will combine but in suit analytics we have to write the command like this we have to provide the information also and then with the help of uh, now we have to see here whether the or condition we have, we have to take or the and condition here we have to take care of and and or that's it so guys and how to use the contains contains these in place of this like command we have to use contain in suit analytics so guys this is another most important example so keep practicing suit analytics and if you have any doubt you can note down in the comment section i will try to satisfy your query and till then please do subscribe my channel and watching my videos keep watching my videos thanks for watching thank you